Hi, I'm Dominique Pegg. Hi, I'm Michaela Gerber. I'm Madeline Gardner. Hi, I'm Peng Peng Lee. Hi, I'm Christina Pekulik. Hi, I'm Coralie Leblanc Chartrand. You're logged on to International Gymnasts Online. Go Team Canada! Talk to us about what your personal goals are. Are you shooting for the London Games next year? Oh, definitely. London is my biggest goal, and that is the thing I've been dreaming about all my life. So an Olympic medal is my main goal right now, and I think this one, this competition is just one more step towards that goal, and I'm really excited to just go through this whole process and this whole year. I had a lot of fun during my first Worlds. What were some of your favorite athletes uh, growing up? Sean Johnson is my favorite athlete. She was my favorite all the way. I loved her because she always smiled and she always had great difficulty. How are you doing? How do you feel? Good. Pretty good. Today we were playing safe for the team. So I took out the backhand spin, backhand spin layout and the double on vault. Uh, so we just safe for the team. And I did my full difficulty on bars and floor. So I'm, uh, hopefully I go to all around finals and I will do everything. You're doing a really great job out there representing your country. Uh, you have high hopes for competing next year in London? Yes, that's the main goal right now, <laughs> yes. What do you do to, to stay in shape? Basically, like, it's the whole training, you know. Um, I train a lot and also do weightlifting and deconditioning with my coach. And, you know, he... He teaches me how to like eat healthy in a way that, you know, you put everything you need, protein, carbs, and everything that you need. It, yes, basically like a balance of everything. I don't really restrain myself from anything. So I just do a balance of everything. Um, because she's from like America, she brings, I guess, the whole American background. And um, she brings the fact that she makes us all a team and bond together and gel together. And yeah, we, we all work really well together because she makes us have camps at least like once a month or something. So we get that cohesiveness within camp like once a week every month. And yeah, so she makes us all come together as a team and bond and yeah, cheer for each other like we did today. Congratulations to your team. They look oh, lovely thank today. You. Lots of improvement in the artistry and dance. And we worked really hard on that. Yeah. What have you been doing to make improvements? You have to plan it in your budget and you have to hire really good people to come in. I mean, I'm not an expert in dance. I certainly know what I like. Mm -hmm. but So I hired two full-time choreographers and um, I'm hoping that you know, a tenth or two will come out of it. The girls have worked really hard on that, you know. I mean, they did their maximum what they could do, that they were ready competition-wise, tumbling and acro. So, um, you know, we just tried to get that artistry. On floor, it's 1.6 now. Mm -hmm. Judges are sending us a message. As far as your goals for, for Lauren, how do you feel yeah. um, she's doing with her ankles? I know she yeah. held them a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, she had a pretty bad accident, and uh, we tried to keep it. And we didn't want to use that as an excuse at all, but uh, she's had issues with those ankles for years. And so they're always going to be prone, so we have to tape them up like casts almost. So she really doesn't have much range, and so she pings off if something's not perfect. And that's just what happened on that change leg leap on beam. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't right, so she didn't have the range to absorb it, and it just, you know. She saved it, though. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's a veteran for you. She turned it into the best she could, so. Absolutely. But they still took a fall on it. Oh, you're my idol. Oh, when I was a little kid. Aww. Still now, still now. Oh, thank you, how thank you. you. Doing well. How are you? Can you? Share with us how this came about for you to compete for Armenia. Well, actually, one of my dad's good friends just brought it up at dinner one day last summer, and I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? Like he was like, we really need to encourage female athletics, and he was like, you qualify for this, you should do it, get your citizenship, and. I did it and here I am. <laughs> it's so great to see you doing that and doing that for women's sports and for your country. Experience going for you? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, I, I had no idea what to expect because you know this is my first international competition too. So, um, but it, it's been everything I thought it would be. Your very first international competition, you're, it's the world? <laughs> wow. So were you wearing your Iowa leotard? I think I saw it from the stands. Absolutely. Rep show everyone. Rep in Iowa with the Armenian emblem. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Do Do you want to oh, yes, yes. <laughs> How was your knee? Uh, not so bad, but not good. Not good. Yeah, it's also. 
Oh, you tore the meniscus? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But you competed. How do you feel about the competition today for your team, for you? Uh, I will do the best for me after that. My team was very good. I'm happy. And take care of that knee and feel better. And uh, thank you for taking a few minutes. <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you too. The Japanese garden is quite spiritual, conveying a sense of tranquility that draws you deeper into a reflection of the natural world. Japanese culture, garden making is a high art, intimately related with other arts such as calligraphy and ink painting. In the Japanese garden, you're leaving the chaos of life for a very serene and private place. Log on to International Gymnast Online and tell us what you think.